Hi, I'm Jackie, Hannah's mum. Like Hannah, I also bear hearing aids with a moderate to severe hearing loss, as did my mother. I grew up in Liverpool in the UK, and there was little support for kids who had this kind of hearing loss back in the 1970s. The main barriers for me, both past and present, were around stigma. Through personal stigma, how I viewed my hearing impairment, I'd often feel stupid and ashamed, especially if I had to say pardon more than twice. I believed that people thought I was an idiot at times and that they just tolerated me, which was my perceived stigma. Sadly, there are people out there who are unkind to us with hearing loss by making comments such as, oh, you heard that, didn't you? Or you can't use your hearing aids as an excuse not to take minutes in a meeting. This external stigma is often based on lack of knowledge around how hearing loss works. And we know the stigma sets people apart from others. It reduces self-esteem and sits alongside discrimination. Hannah has changed my life through her determination to be as positive as possible. She is a true inspiration. She has taught me to be more assertive about seeking help from the workplace. And I now too have a Roger device. By using the Roger, I can hear effectively in meetings and participate better when I meet up with my friends. It gives me such hope to see how things have changed, so much for the better these days. I've been blown away by the support and the encouragement that has been offered to Hannah. One of the messages I would like to give today, especially for parents and teachers of a child of a later diagnosis, is to access all the support that's out there. Hannah, I, her dad, class teachers, teacher for the deaf, educational psychologist and a case manager work closely together to ensure the best outcomes possible. Communication is without doubt the key to this collaborative relationship. So for everyone in the audience today, that is what I'd encourage more than anything. Thank you.